Okay, this is just a real quick video. I'm, I'm working on the Toyota motor here. And for anyone who is doing the LC Engineering um, dual row timing chain upgrade, I just wanted to show why you have to modify the inside of the valve cover. So if you see, that's the timing chain uh, right there. And normally, this second part of the timing chain isn't in there when you have a single row. And then let me see if I can just pull off the valve cover here uh, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Hang on a sec here, I'll get it. So I wanted to show the modification that I ended up making. So what you have to do is when you flip over the valve cover, you'll see there's a little baffle here and it has four spot wells and there's a little piece uh, of sheet metal on there. You just have to take a, you know, a quarter inch or slightly larger drill and carefully drill out those spot wells and then pop that piece off and get rid of all the shavings. And that gives you the clearance you need, excuse the gasket that fell off there, that gives you the clearance you need on that second row that normally isn't there on the 22RE. So if you're doing that upgrade and you're wondering, you know, what in the heck are they talking about in the instructions that come with the uh, dual row timing chain kit, I, this is what they mean. You, you've got to get that extra little bit of clearance in there. You don't need to cut this whole part off, just that little baffle that's spot welded on. So wanted to provide that just so it's a little bit more clear because I know when I was first reading the directions, I was a little confused on what they meant, so hopefully that clears it up for you.